Hello. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Welcome. Yeah. It is Flower Friday. Woohoo! And we are so excited to be with you guys today. We are going to be making a really fun project. So make sure that when you hop on that you say hi, let us know where you're watching from. If you are watching us live, just put live in the comments. If you're watching the replay, whether you're on Facebook or you're on YouTube, just make sure that you put replay in the comments. That's right. We have a fun project for you tonight. We are going to be making a couple of Christmas mailbox swags. That's right. Now, I love making these, and so I'm super excited about today. Yes, they are fun to make. If you are they new are. to our channel, welcome. Thank y'all so much for joining us. I'm Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. That's exactly right. And we have got this fun, fun project that we are going to do today. And we're actually going to show you how you can do two different kinds. So. Yeah. So welcome. Hey, Marilyn. Hey, Elaine. Welcome. Hey, Rose. Hey, Frida. Hey, April. Hey, Sherry. Thank y'all so much, those of you who are joining us live. We are so excited yes. to have y'all here today. And if you don't mind, take just a second and share this so that other people can watch too. Yes. Because this is going to be fun. Definitely. Share this with your friends because this is going to be a fun one that I know that your friends are going to want to watch. That's right. So I know it does seem a little bit early to be uh, doing holiday projects, but hey, we love the holidays. We're yes, going to get we started do. early. The shops and, and stores already have the Christmas stuff out, so we have bought a bunch of stuff, and we're excited to be making some mailbox swags tonight. That's right, and the first thing, I'm going to make the bow, and right now I'm just dovetailing my ends well, of my Why don't my we tail. tell them real quick what we're working with tonight? Oh, okay, that's a good idea. So we have some mailbox swags. Now these are actual pine mailbox swags. Um, they are made specifically for yep. mailboxes, so that is what they are for. They're bendable so that you can fit them on your mailbox the way that you need them to go. And their little hook sticks to everything. And they have, yeah, they have a hook on them. <laughs> yeah. And I believe these are 32 inches, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But, like I said, these are made specifically for a mailbox. Now, if you cannot find one of these mailbox swags, you could just use a regular swag sure. that you find at places like Michael's or whatever if you can't find one of these. But these are actually specifically made for mailboxes. Yeah. So, we are going to be making two different swags just yes. to show you that you can kind of um, make them, you know, to suit your own taste. You know, everybody doesn't have the same taste, so That's right. you know you can make it how you want it, and you can just, you know, use this, um, you know, kind of use. What am I trying to say? Um, use these designs yeah. and then just make your <laughs> own. These you as can an just example. see the That's technique. What I'm to yeah, say. <laughs> the technique. But to make our tails, what we do is you just take your your ribbon and you're going to measure by going from one side to the other and then just cutting and that's how long you want your tails i usually make sure i go just a maybe an inch or two past the point uh just to make sure that i've got plenty of of room so yeah and if so if you're using a 32 inch swag you would make about 34 inches of tails so you yeah. would make your tails cut them at about 34 inches I already have my bow made. Yeah, she's already got hers, and I'm making mine now. And these will be 7-inch loops that I'm making, and I'm just eyeballing it. But um, I think that's about what they're going to be. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Carol. Welcome. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us tonight. Yep, she's, she's going to be doing a red and white one, and I am going to be doing a red and green one so I think they're gonna both be cute and she may have mentioned this but I'll just say it again for those of you who are just hopping on she is using a bow dabber bow maker I am. that's the same thing that I used to make my bow here um, but I made mine right before we started yes and um, I've already put I had already previously put my wire in um, in my bow dabra and right now I'm just making my loops but we do it you know if you do need to know how to uh, make a bow using the bow dabra we've got a couple of different uh, tutorials 
that show you step by step how to do that and uh, tell them where to find that. Yeah, so just check out our YouTube channel at Grace Monroe Home and you will see lots of different uh, mm -hmm. bow tutorials and wreath tutorials on there. Yeah, now with this one, because I want this bow to be extra big on my uh, swag, I'm going to do four loops of each color on each side. So that's going to make a total of 16 loops. Hey Jackie, yes, we're making some mailbox swags for the holidays today. So these are going to be fun Christmas mailbox swags. We're making yeah. two different kinds. Yep. So okay, these be... swags actually, um, let's see, these came from a place online called Pioneer. Pioneer uh, Wholesale Now, company. it is a wholesale company, um, but if you're local to the Montgomery, Alabama area, you can find them at CAFCO Floral Outlet. I know that they have them there. And I think they do ship, too, mm -hmm. if you can, if you want to call them. I think, I'm pretty sure that they do. You can find them on Facebook, too. Kafko Floral Outlet. Hey, Anne. Thank you for joining us. Happy Friday. Yeah. So, tell us what exciting thing you've got planned for the weekend. Anybody got any wonderful plans? See, it was still 90 degrees here, so we're, what, middle, yeah. of, middle of October. It's middle still of October, 90 degrees, but still... I hear... But, but it was supposed, cooler this morning it was a, little cooler a little. this morning, and I hear that it's supposed to get a little bit cooler. Yes, it is. So let us know what the weather is like where you are, where you're watching from. Yeah. Hey, Pam. Thank you so much. Hey, Trina. She said, Trina said she used the red and white ribbon that, Amanda, that I am using in the Christmas wreath, and it's beautiful. Oh, and I will show you. Pretty, I do have, um, I'll show you what kind of ribbons I have. I have, like, almost... Um, almost like Santa looking ribbon and I've got some peppermint striped ribbon. I've got some red glitter and then I have some snowman top hats that I've got up here that I just think that are really just, cute. That is the cutest. I love that ribbon. Okay, while she's fluffing her bow, I'm I will show y'all how to put this on. So you're gonna wanna find the middle of your swag. So you kind of, first you're going to take your swag and when you get it, it's going to be kind of flat. So you want to fluff it out. You want to take your pine pieces and fluff it out real good. So that's the very first thing that you want to do. And you want to do this whether you're making a swag or a Christmas wreath. Anytime you're using these pine, and we've mentioned this before, you always want to fluff out your pine pieces. Definitely. Okay, you don't want them just laying flat. You want to fluff them out. Okay, now you want to kind of bend it and find where the center is. And for me, it's going to be right here. Now, I'm actually going to make mine laying flat. But I just wanted to really know where the center was. So, I'm going to put my bow right there on the center. Okay, so I'm going to wire it. I'm going to use the wire. If I can find the wire. There it is. <laughs> it likes to disappear yeah. in all this pine. And wire it right to the to the base, to the evergreen base. So that's easy enough. Then you're just gonna fluff out your loops to make sure they look good. And now as far as the tails go, you're actually going to want to, or I, and I, I'm assuming you're doing yours the same mm -hmm. way. Yeah. I actually wire mine, so I kind of make them loose right here, and I put my hand under it to make it kind of loose, and then I just, you can either just use a piece of the pine and wire it like that, twist it around, or you can just take a small piece of wire and wire it, but you're going to want to do that on both sides. Mm -hmm. And I am doing the same thing. Denise, the tails on this are about 34 inches, and then the loops are 7 inches. Right? Isn't that what you did? Yeah, here? Seven. I did mine seven. 7. Mm hmm And I'm just using the pine, like she said, to, to uh, put my tails on, just like that. Now, some um, we've got these just hanging like this. You can 
do them again and and have it mm -hmm. so that you've got them <laughs> yeah so that you you know you could do them like this if you wanted to so that they're actually done uh in two places like that if you wanted to but i like kind of like to leave the end <coughs> loose like that yeah I do too. so that's the way I'm doing it and you can really go as long as you want with these tails if you wanted them extra long sure you could, you could bring them out just a little bit if you wanted to cut them shorter you could do that as well it's really just personal preference yes Denise there's seven in the loops are seven inches mm -hmm. so these are seven inches now these you're gonna have 36 inches total so that's going to be your total length that you're going to cut out is 36 inches for the tail. Or it depends on what swag you're working with. That's what you know, we're doing. That's what we're doing because ours is a 32 Well, 34 inch. to 36. Hers yeah. are, about, are more about 36. Yeah, I left mine 34. just a little longer. So, um, but yeah, that's what you want to, to do. And the best thing to do is to measure them with the swag. You know, instead of actually your tape measure, I just hold them up against the swag and leave just an inch or two on each end and that's where I cut my ribbon because that's going to tell me you know that I've got it the right length. So yes it would technically it'd be about 18 inches on each side uh -huh. if you were measuring them like right. that. Right. Hey Judy welcome thank you for joining us. So now what I do I just go around and she's doing the same thing just make sure my loops look like I want them to on my yep. swag. Okay, and then when the, when you bend it, it's going to look like this. But I kind of like to decorate mine flat and then bend it later. Yeah. Just to make sure I have everything. And I've got just a little bit of a bend, but uh, not much of one. It just is easier, I think. But now you can, a lot of times I will do it on the stand. I'll just wire it to the stand and then, you know, go ahead and have it folded. But I'm going to do it today like this. All right. So typically when we make these kind of swags and we have all we we've, we've made these swags for years and oh, years. years. We love years. these mailbox swags. Yes. Now, uh, most of the time we'll use some flowers in them. Mhm. Mm um for mine, I'm going to be actually using white mums. Now, I will say, and she's got red hydrangeas. Right. Now, I will say, if you do not purchase uh, flowers that are specifically made for outdoors, and if they are, they will say waterproof and they'll say made for outdoors, then you want to do a little... Um, test. Test. Yeah, wet test. Yeah. <laughs> on them. Just which pour some water on them. Run them underwater. Just a little bit of them and just kind of rub your fingers. Mm -hmm. Because you're basically just going to want to make sure that whenever, you know, these are going to be out in the rain, in the snow, whatever. Because yep. they're going, it's going on your mailbox. So you want to make sure that it is not going to bleed all over your mailbox. Exactly. So we don't really have to worry about that with the white, but definitely with the red, you kind of want to yeah. test that out. Because I have made the mistake when I first started doing mailbox swags, I made one for myself and I had some, oh, they were so pretty, these little berries all over it. It was just really pretty, but unfortunately, I did not do the water test, and my mailbox, I mean, I had streaks of red all down. At the time, my mailbox post was painted white, so you can imagine what that looked yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> so you just want to test it. Now, yeah. you can purchase the flowers um, that are specifically yes, made can. for outdoors but mm -hmm. this is just if you choose to buy some that are not right and I recommend just kind of doing a little test on everything that you use if you're going to put it on your mailbox it just you know it helps and all you have to do yep. is just run a little water on it let it dry see if it bleeds yeah okay so one thing I was going to say okay. real quick you want to make sure when you're doing this that you find you decide what is mm -hmm. your front or your back now we're gonna decorate both sides, but you're still gonna have one designated front right. of your swag. Okay, right. that's gonna be facing the road. So you wanna decide which is your front and which is your back. Yep, and I've already decided that the one facing you all is gonna be my front. So I'm gonna be using this part as my front. And I'm gonna be using this part facing me as my front. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. You can see the back and the front of mm -hmm. one. And I'm going to be adding just a few little pine pieces. I thought with this particular one that, uh, because I don't have a lot of candy and things to go on mine, so I'm going to add just some extra. These are just some long needle pine 
that I just want it to give give it just a little more fullness so I'm just dipping them in my glue skillet and I'm gonna put some right in here and just take one of my pine pieces and wrap it right around it just to hold it just like that and I had since I have decided what is gonna be my front on my very front I'm gonna put this big red and white ball okay so I want that to be on the very front under the bow where um, where it faces the road so I'm gonna put that right there so I'm just gonna dip this ball right in the glue And I've actually already used this one time, this ball. That's why it's got mm -hmm. dry, dried glue on it, but I took it out of something. Yep. And I'm just going to glue it right, just with the glue, right onto the swag. Just like that. So I just put it, uh-oh, dropped something. Yep, I heard it hit. Just like that. Right there in the center of the bow. So I love that's pretty. Yeah, I love red and white. I do too. It's one of my favorite combinations. Yeah, it's just look. classic. It mm -hmm. never goes out. Now I've got another piece of pine and I want this to be right here where my uh ribbons are attached and I got glue everywhere, so I will have to get that off, but I'm just still wrapping a piece of pine around it to hold it in place right there and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my flowers in so uh, like I mentioned earlier I have some white mums now we actually got these in the fall section yeah we always stuck up when we use these white mums because we use these a lot at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. they are great and because we spray a lot of our Christmas things with glitter spray after we finish the wreath or whatever then they get a little glitter on them and that makes them even more special. And so I'm just going to put a few of these just around the swag. A couple in the front and then a couple in the back. And I'm still just adding some extra pine. I've put one in the front here and this one's going to go straight up the middle of my bow. And now what I'm doing is I'm sticking the stem into the glue and I am using a glue skillet to do that and then I'm taking a piece of the pine and wrapping it around the stem so it's it's in there good now that is a concern that a lot of people have because it's going on a mailbox but we have these glued in here really really oh good. yeah they're not going anywhere <laughs> this stuff is not going anywhere hey Karen hey Wendy welcome Okay, and this I'm going to put here towards the back of my bow. And any kind, anytime you add extra pine, it's just going to give it a lot more fullness. And you can just add it all around. Just however, any, any bit like that is just going to make it, give it more interest and all. And Brenda just make said it she fuller. missed you making the bow. Well, you can go back and watch the replay when yeah, you're done. Yeah, you can. Okay, so there's my pine that I've added to it so far. Yeah, and I've just got my um, mums in. So I've got a couple in the front and a couple in the back. I may go back and add some later, but I'm going to go ahead and get everything else on it and see... You do not have to add a ton with these. No, because, you really don't. I mean, they're just so pretty, but I don't, so I don't want to overdo it, but we'll wait until the end to see if we need more because I do have some other cute things to go in it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add just a couple of my hydrangeas to start with. Let's see. And I just, I put glue on the end and I'm just using a piece of my pine. I'm just wrapping that around the stem to hold it in place. Um, we had a question. Okay. Let's see. Suzanne asked, how do you attach it to the mailbox? Well, these are actually made specifically for a mailbox. They're, um, and my little hook is. Is up in there. Yep. Uh -oh. So they actually have a hook. So you're going to bend it. 
it's, it's going to bend. And then there's this little hook that you can attach. But now, um, a lot of times, I will say that a lot of times, um, mailboxes are too small with the hook. Mm -hmm. So what you do then is you just take a piece of wire and wire it from one side to the other around your mailbox. Yes, in fact, when we ship any of these, we always ship extra wire in with it just in case they're might these are supposed to fit a standard mailbox but you know a lot of depends on the post that you've mm -hmm. got them on and that kind of thing so we just always send a little extra just to make sure that they can still use it with no problems so that's what we do yes uh, so you can use these as a centerpiece in fact mm -hmm. we uh, <laughs> Sometimes we'll just use these mailbox swags and actually um, use the frame of the mailbox swag and use them as a centerpiece for a table. We so sure you can do. definitely do that. Now I have some snowflakes and some other embellishments. I've got some um, candy picks, some peppermint picks, and some um, little beads, little berries that I've got here. So I'm just going to start just putting these in my swag wherever I see a hole or feel like it needs something. I also have some balls, some gl red glittered balls that I'm going to be adding. And for the balls, just like the other ball, you are just going to dip it straight in your glue. We may need some more glue. Mm -hmm. And glue it right onto the pond. It's a good thing I got a block box of glue underneath yeah. me here. Now we just gotta wait a few minutes to get it hot again. Okay, so I have got my hydrangeas on here so far. So all I've got, and really, I mean, it's full like it is. Yeah, you, you could just use, just it, like use it like this. And all I've put on it is just a few little extra pine pieces and four little hydrangeas. But of course, I'm not gonna do that. I've got to add a little more. So I'm gonna go ahead. I've got some little lime green and red picks here that I want to use. I don't need that. And this big one is going to be right here. I'm going to have it at the back. So I'm putting it in at the back and again, just using pine to wrap around to hold it up. But then I'm going to kind of move my bow around so that it looks like it's coming from the middle a little more. I want this to kind of be in the middle of my bow. So I just move my bow around till I get it like I, I need it, just like that. Diane said that she saw the back of your shirt when you bent over and she loves the back. The oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I found this at a little place in, uh, in Clanton, Alabama. A little boutique. A little boutique the other day and had to get it. And it was on sale, and I loved that. Hey, I always love a sale. I love sales, and I found it on sale, so that really got me tickled. I was like, yep, that's for me. I am all, y'all know, I'm always up for yeah, sale. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, so I have just worked my loops around so that now this is coming from the middle of my bow. Now I've got some more and what I've done, I just cut one apart. And now I've got them stuck together, my little curly cues. So let me get those apart if I can. There we go. Sandra so, said, would this swag work well on a mantle? And I think it would look I think it, it would, would work be great, great on a mantle. Sure, sure it would. 
Yep, definitely. Okay, and I just added some of these picks. I love using these peppermint picks. These came from Hobby Lobby. Donna, we are located um, right outside of Maplesville, so not mm -hmm. too, too far from you and Selma. Oh, no. Yeah, we sure aren't. Very close. Of course, uh, Selma's her hometown. But. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Sarah said... I've got one. I want to go here in the front. Yeah. Sarah said that it would uh, be pretty with candles worked into it, but at first when it I read would. it, I thought she said cardinals. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, hey, cardinals would we work can too. add some cardinals too, yeah. Cardinals and candles. Uh, it really would. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way just so that I can see what it's looking like so far. Okay, there we go. Turn it back around. And then I've got some balls. Some little polka dot. Aren't those cute? Some little balls I'm going to add. And I just dip them in the glue. So I usually, if I can get them off, I take the little hangers off just so that they don't come off and, and it fall out or something. Yeah, I always do that to mine too. Yeah. So I think I will put a red, red and green one here in the front. Yeah, I got a lot of glue stuff to yep, my. Yep. <laughs> to my. Uh, yeah, but that's all right. Because it's not quite melted all the way yet. Not quite. In fact, I know we said these were mailbox bags, but I'm thinking about I may just keep mine and use mine as a centerpiece mm -hmm. on, you really on my could. table. That's true. You definitely could. And now I also have some snowflakes. Were you, were you gonna use any snowflakes? I don't I don't know yet. Probably not. Now these came from Hobby Lobby and I just dip the end. I don't dip I don't dip a whole lot into the glue, just a little bit of the end, and then I glue it in. I like to kind of glue them in at an angle so that it gives it some dimension. Okay, I'll add some on the back. Because that is one thing, like she said, you want to make sure you do your back too. And you really want to think about, because of the way that it's going to go across the mailbox, you want to think about people driving up and down the street, you know, or whatever, and what they're going to see, the side. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. You do want, of course, a big bow on top and whatever, you know, embellishment you're going to put on top. But it's really about the sides of each side. So and what people are going to see as they ride by. And yes, uh, let's see, Linda said, I just joined late. Do you bend them over your mailbox? And yes, yes, you do bend them and shape them over your mailbox. So it's going to really depend on the size of your mailbox. Mm -hmm. And when I'm making mine, I tend to just work on the one side for a little bit and then turn it around and work on the other side for a little bit. Yeah. That's just the way that I do it. I'll turn it around. And you can see what I've done to the back there. I 
just want to turn it, uh, kind of bend it a little so that I can see where everything is and make sure it's where I want it to be. So that, that's how it, it's going to go on the mailbox like this. So, so far I have it like I want it. Yeah, and that's when, when I, if I am specifically making this for a mailbox, every few minutes I will just bend it. Bend and it sure. and look at it and see, make sure it's where you want it. And I've got some that I have, and now these, was I just found some stems, leftover stems, and I just glued it into the ball. So that's uh, made me some picks. So I'm going to put this one I just want it to stand up a little bit higher and I'm sorry you hear my dog barking. I don't know who let him out, but they are going to get in trouble. Because <laughs> he is not supposed to be outside. He's loud. He is loud, bless his heart. He's, He's sweet. my though. baby, though. Now the only thing when you're gluing these you do want to make sure if you dip a whole bunch of glue in the ball I mean it a whole if you dip the ball into a whole bunch of glue you just want to make sure that when you're gluing it to the pine that you have a few pieces underneath that you can really get it glued really well to that pine so that it stays really well for you yeah let's see if I can find a stem long enough Work. Yeah, Trina said she's afraid someone might steal it. We've had a lot of people that have kind of been afraid yeah. of that. We live out in the country. We really don't see that problem very much. But no, but but I do understand if you know if you do have that kind of problem because. Uh, and in that case, you could just use it as a centerpiece. Like sure. <laughs> yes, you could. That is the truth. Add a couple of more balls. And now, like we said earlier, you you do as many as you want to of of the ornaments and things. Uh, I tend to like a lot of ornaments, so I put a lot. But that is all up to what your preference is. Yeah. Hey, I mean, sometimes we even make them and we just use greenery in, yeah. in berries. So mm -hmm, you can go... Because we have some that just ask for just a real natural look. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. go as elaborate, or, you know, and get as whimsical as you want and fun and, exactly. you know, use all the embellishments. Or you could just go natural, real traditional and use just the pine and... and I mean, because just the mailbox swag itself is really pretty. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah, and I think somebody was asking about wiring it. For it to stay, it's going to fall off if you don't wire it. So mm -hmm. you definitely, yeah, so if you, you put it on your least, mailbox, 
some we, kind of wire you know you're gonna mm -hmm. bend it to fit your mailbox and then like this one has a wire on it but if you're and it's made to fit a you know traditional st uh, size mailbox but if yours is not traditional or you know does not fit you would just attach some wire and you can just use like this 26 gauge floral wire like we do you can just attach it to one side take it around the bottom of the mailbox and attach it to the other side exactly. you know and of course you would bend it to fit your specific mailbox you could zip tie it also if you didn't want to use the wire and just a couple more of these Gosh, we're really using some glue today, aren't I'm we? I'm telling you, this <laughs> does take a lot of glue. It does. But that is all right. Hey, we make it so that yep, this stuff is not going it's anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, probably if you did zip tie it, it may be a little harder for people to steal. That's for mm -hmm. sure. Yep. It would definitely take them more work. <laughs> definitely. For sure. here on the back. You could add pine cones to them, um, mm -hmm. anything like that. Just anything that you like. All stuck to mine. Uh oh. I got this one pushed in too far, so I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. Feel the glitter. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to sneeze. I know, I know. We get it all over us. <laughs> I, I guess y'all understand my, that. All, all up in here, it's just in the air. Yeah. So if yep. I start sneezing, <laughs> y'all yep. know why. Because we got glitter flying in here. Yes, we do. Okay, let's check the front again. So you see the one side, and then I have this going on on this yeah. side. Oh. Just hanging. And I'm still adding to mine. I know, I keep doing that too, and I say I'm gonna quit, and then I keep, keep adding. I went a little wild with my glue and I got some on my little uh, twirly yeah. candy. Okay, I think I'm just going to 
say it is finished. I could keep adding to it, but I have a tendency not to know when to quit. So I'm just going to straighten out my bow. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Oh, thanks, Norma. She said it's hard to pick. They're both beautiful. Or well, both thank you. They yep, are. It's just whatever is your preference. Whichever one. That's right. And that's a great thing about uh, the, about these. Um, yeah, slides. you can you do can, them just any kind of way. Yeah, you can just make them mm -hmm. however you like them. Yep. You can make them to match your decor. For sure. If you have a wreath on your front door that you wanted, you know, something on your mailbox to match, mm -hmm. you could do that. Yep. And if you are afraid of somebody stealing it, you could just do the swag just with a nice pretty bow. Right. And you know? that would be just, I mean, it's it would be simple but beautiful. Mm -hmm. It really would. You know, even if you just added a few of the little pine pieces to it just to kind of give it a little bit more. Yeah and then put a, a nice bow on it i mean that would be perfect yeah i mean you don't have to put a ton of money yes into you it, really don't um for it to you know be yep. beautiful you really don't so they are fun they are easy you know i could have actually used some of the white in this one yeah you could have mm -hmm. you have white polka dots mm -hmm. i do i had a couple more balls but i don't think i want to i think i'm gonna leave it like it is I like the little curly cues. Yeah, I and like the little those balls too. too. Just make sure to test whatever you put in it. Just yeah, to, especially with the red. Most yeah. other colors. Yeah, yeah, they're they're okay, but the red is going to be the the big one that you have to worry the most about, I think. And if you don't have a red mailbox, I mean a white mailbox, then it might not no, be. Oh no, still. Yeah, it might be. It might be bad. But yeah, it's very. It's you definitely want to check if you have a, a white mailbox. Yes. And you're using red definitely. materials. Yep. But you see, they are not hard to do. They are relatively easy, and you can do them countless ways. You could put beautiful pine cones and uh, make it real rustic, some red berries, put a pretty little bird on top, mm -hmm. you know, just anything like that. Make them really, really cute. So, make sure if you make any, we want to see them. Send us a picture. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty. I, I, you still cannot ever go wrong to me with red and white. Red and white I is love one of my red favorite. And, and I really it, love... And it's always been so popular for us, you know, the, the color scheme. And it's just... I mean, people love all the traditional colors and even the new things. You're going to always have some, you know, that want those, but most people that's what they want red and white a lot of people yeah a lot yep. people love red and white they which really I do, do i do too love it I need one more um plain ball a plain red yep um big they're right there no i don't i want a shiny one like that. oh like this i've got these they're not plain that's okay. but that's all i got i think that's okay Oh, there's one over there Is yeah that... that's not what i was thinking oh. i wanted a shiny plain one. Oh, the shiny plain mm -hmm. well I'm hey Peggy. Sorry. I don't have one. It's okay. I'm sure we do, but I just don't have it right here in front of me. So. Yeah, and so, so who I was going to make a mailbox swag now that you've seen them? Let us know. Yeah, these are so much fun. And like they we mentioned earlier, fun. I think I may actually use mine instead she of putting it will. on instead of putting it on my mailbox i think i might use it actually on my mm -hmm. table as it a really piece. would be pretty or and, either and on my mantle said, yes you could actually do this one for the middle uh, the middle of your mantle depending mm -hmm. on how large it is and then do two corner ones on yeah. each side that would be pretty so yeah you could do a lot now, Suzanne, this swag actually came from a place called uh, Pioneer Wholesale. Mm -hmm. um, you can check craftoutlet.com and see if they have any yet in stock. Um, yeah, because they usually carry them. I don't know if they have them in stock yet or not. I hadn't checked. But now this is specifically a mailbox swag, so it's made for a mailbox. But if you can't, 
find one that's made for a mailbox. You can make this on a regular swag that you get at like Hobby Lobby or Yes, anywhere. you really could. You would just need to use wire if you're going to use it on your mailbox. Just wire it to the mailbox. That's all. Yep. That's See. it. Belinda says she is going to try, and Robbie said, I good. for sure want to make one. Great. Good, good. I want These to are know fun. that. These are that really fun. good. They are fun. I've always really enjoyed making mailbox mm -hmm. swags. And, yep. you know, it's different because you don't see a ton of them. No, so, you really don't. And I love it when I'm driving and I see somebody has a, you know, when they have mm -hmm. a mailbox swag. And they've always been a big seller for us. Mm -hmm. I think that is why. It's because you don't see them a lot. Yeah. You know. Samantha said, I just did a Bama swag. Yay. Yeah, we have done we have done a lot of those for mm -hmm. sure. Kathy said I'm making some for mailbox, dining room table, and living room table. That will great be great. Idea. That is a great idea. It is. And Jackie, you're right. You could put two tear teardrop swags together. You yes. Could do that. You sure could you could. You sure could. Ooh. Yeah, don't be afraid to try that kind of stuff because it's it you know, you don't know until you try it. So if you've got two swags, put them together. You know, if you've got a long garland, cut it up and make it, you know, into a swag. You'll probably have to double it over depending on how big it is, but you can do a lot. Yeah, and you can actually use a lot of things that you already have. So mm -hmm. if you had an old garland or old swag from, sure. you know, last year or the year before, you can take off some of the decorations. Yes. You can take out all the decorations and you can reuse that. We're all for reusing yes, and definitely. saving money and, you know, using what you've already got on hand. That is important. <laughs> yep. Yes, Donnie, you could keep it indoors. Like I said, you could use it as sure a centerpiece. Sure you piece. could. And if you have a really snowy winter, um, yeah, then you might want to keep it indoors. Mm -hmm. And now you could go and go ahead and spray this with the clear um, uh, UV spray, and that will just help keep it a little bit longer. That's and it's just something extra. And now I was going to mention that I always do spray my mums when I use the white mums. So I'll probably use either some gold or uh, silver glitter spray. I'm not going to do it right now because we can't, can't breathe in here. Can't breathe in here, yeah. Not enough I have ventilation. made that mistake quite often. <laughs> but I'll just spray over and just give them that nice little blast of glitter on and the yep. mums. Yep. Just to give it a little extra. Yep, that always helps. And we do that with just about all of our Christmas things because people love glitter. Hey, I love glitter. I love glitter. Yep. Hey, Peggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could try the you could try to look on Amazon see if they have swags mm -hmm. on Amazon. Definitely. Um, but and you can Google yes mailbox swags. yes mailbox swags exactly. you want you want the undecorated ones uh, daris i think has them too but now daris again is uh daris.com and it but it is for wholesale only so you do have to have a wholesale license yep hey peggy thank you for joining us from jacksonville florida if you all are yes. just hopping on welcome you can always go back and watch the replay definitely and, and we, see how we made these yes and we thank you guys for hanging out with us on flower fridays we have fun on flower we Friday. sure do we have a lot of fun and y'all make sure that you uh, subscribe to our youtube channel because we have a really fun video coming yes we do that i'm really excited about and I it's am only gonna too. be it's gonna be fun it's only going to be on YouTube, so yep. make sure that you go to our YouTube channel and we're at Grace Monroe Home and that you hit subscribe and you hit the bell so that you get notified when we release new videos because we release those Yes, weekly. definitely, and I am excited about that one. That's going to be fun. Yep. <laughs> Marianne said, you girls do an amazing job. Beautiful. Aw, thank you, Marianne. Norma, we are glad you will be watching again. Yes, yes. Hey, we Joy. are happy to have you. Yeah, you could put it in a lighted china cabinet. That would be really Oh, pretty. that would and be put pretty. put some string lights on it. That'd be yes, really yes. Hey, Sherry, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Well, y'all make sure that you uh, watch us every Friday live on Facebook at 4 o'clock p.m. Central, Central time. time. Yes. We're live on Facebook.